Halloween. Um, so, uh, just finishing setting up some of uh, my lab here, uh, installed a new ZVM, um, basically just so I could do some more tutorials. And one of those that I really wanted to get through was uh, multi-factor authentication or MFA. Um, a lot of people do MFA for various things, either using Okta or Entra ID or you know some other super fancy uh, service. And that's great. Th those are all great options, uh, as long as you have the internet, obviously. If you, however, want MFA on your Zerto ZVMs and you don't want to rely on like an external third party service, uh, especially if, you know, a disaster has happened. Uh, one of the things you can do is actually built right into Keycloak. Uh, we have a, a guide on it. Let me show you that here. Um, it's under the uh, appliance installation and deployment section of help.zerto.com. Uh, it's called configure multi-factor authentication or MFA. Uh, what we will do here is basically just enable a super, super basic MFA where you can scan a QR code with your phone. It will then ask you when you log into Zerto uh, through the web browser for that code. So if you don't have your phone, you won't be able to log in. Uh, the good news is that if someone compromises some of your passwords and they don't compromise your phone, then you'll be uh, in a lot better, uh, lot better spot there. If uh, you forget your MFA credential, uh, lose your phone, get a new phone, whatever, and um, uh, you need to reset it, I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, let me get over here to RDP. Okay, so I'm at my key cloak screen. Uh, basically, it's just my, my URL of my ZVM. Uh, slash auth, and then of course it'll load up all this other stuff here. But we should log in with our Keycloak credentials, and we get back here to where we should start out at. Usually, when you log in, you might come into this master realm. Um, again, if it doesn't say welcome to Zerto, what you want to do is come up here to this drop down, click on the Zerto uh, realm box here, it should say welcome to Zerto. This is where you want to do all your configuration if you want, you know, this to apply to the Zerto GUI, right? Uh, I explained in one of my other videos that the key cloak realm is basically kind of like you're out of band management. So the, the usernames and passwords or any, um, you know, LDAP or whatever integrations you do for user federation uh, or identity providers in the key cloak realm simply gets you into key cloak. There's nothing else that that, that realm does. It's just the out of band management. Uh, the Zerto realm controls all access into the Zerto product. So the API, the GUI, etc. That's all in the Zerto realm. And then the ZSSP realm is specifically used in multi tenant environments. Uh, if you have like the Zerto cloud manager software installed, most people don't ever need to do anything with ZSSP. You want to stick to the Zerto realm. All right, so um, if you follow the LDAP setup guide, you'll know that I have LDAP S set up and enabled. It's configured uh, against my uh, Active Directory environment. Big thing, you want to make sure it says enabled. If it says disabled, then you know go check out the other video. It'll show you how to set that up. Uh, but that doesn't give you MFA. So right now, um, it's it's super easy to set up MFA. Let me show you back to the guide here real quick. Uh, basically, we're right here at the top, right? We logged in, and now step two is to go to the authentication section uh, in the ribbon on the left. Go to flows, and then select browser. So let's do that. Uh, if we go to authentication, there's the browser. And we want to come down here to where it says browser. Additional OTP, browser conditional OTP. Uh, we want to change it from conditional to required. And then we want to click save. No, well, actually, we don't need to click save because it already saved it. Okay, next thing that we need to do is 
we need to check our users here. And then let's just search for admin. And if we click admin, uh, one of the things you can do to kind of force it to uh, set up your OTP is go to the required user action section and just select configure OTP. Once you do that, hit save. And then if you open a new browser, you can type our credential and you're gonna see that it says, hey, you need to go ahead and set up your MFA. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can figure out where the plus button is here. So I'm on my phone, I'm scanning a QR code. You can see the QR code there on the screen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the number in. So on my phone, I have 763913. And I'll just say JP phone. And you can leave that and then hit submit. And now I'm logged in. So what is this change? Uh, obviously, if you log into Zerto, it's got to still look like Zerto. Uh, but if you come back over here to Keycloak, and I'm still in my user section, let me just show you how I get back in here. So I'm looking for my admin user. If I click on admin. Uh, so again, we were just here, but I just wanted to show you how I got there. Now, what I can do is click on credentials. And now you'll see that there's an OTP credential. So not only do I have a, a password I have to enter, but I now also have a OTP credential as well. Uh, and if I don't have both, you can't get in. Now, let me, let me open an incognito browser here, or a new private, go back over here to 50.60. I have an AD credential too. Uh, so I have administrator and this is using LDAP S to Active Directory. Uh, so this isn't a local key cloak user. If I hit sign in, the exact same thing will happen. So it'll ask me to set up a, a MFA device. Uh, if I don't do it, if I just hit, you know, submit, it's gonna say, hey, you can't do that. So it will force every user who logs into Keycloak to set up MFA uh, using either Google, Microsoft, FreeOTP. Uh, I think I've seen a customer use some uh, other third-party ones. As long as they have the ability to scan a QR code, it's probably gonna work. Uh, now, if you forget or you lose your phone or you know whatever, you need to reset your OTP. Um, basically, all you do is you log into Keycloak using the Keycloak username and password, which is just admin, and then whatever password you set during the uh, initialization process. Again, that that credential is stored here in the Keycloak master realm, so you should always be able to get into that, assuming that you know you remember the password that you set up. Um, then you click on the Zerto realm, come into the users, and all you need to do then is delete the OTP. And you can say delete. And then if you want to force the person to set up OTP again, you come back to the details and you say configure OTP and then hit save. And now the, the next time you log in, if I log out, and I log back in as administrator again, now that I've deleted and told it to force a uh, one-time password again, it's gonna ask me to, again to go ahead and set up my my, MF or, yeah, my MFA device. Uh, so again, we'll scan the, the barcode, we'll do the number, we'll say my phone, and we'll hit submit. And then we're good to go. Uh, so yeah. It, Multi-factor can be super easy. You don't have to use a third party. Uh, again, all you really need is Keycloak. And once you have Keycloak, you can just follow the guide right here uh, and you're good to go. Uh, now, before I let you go, if you do use APIs, you do need to uh, disable MFA uh, for the API interface. And to do that, again, it's, it's right here in the guide, but let's just walk through it real quick. Again, we're in the Zerto realm. We need to go to authentication. 
Uh, we'll then go to the flows tab, which we're already there. And then what we need to do is go to direct grant. Once we go to direct grant, uh, we look for our direct grant conditional OTP. And we basically change it from conditional to disabled. Uh, what that'll do is basically mean that when I when I try to do all my cool API stuff, uh, it's not going to try to require me to log in with a uh, uh, with a one-time password, which obviously we won't be able to do very easily with uh, you know scripts. So anyway, there you go. There's MFA. Uh, so make sure you keep your key cloak stuff secured. And uh, again, you you don't have to pay extra for Okta or anything like that to make this work. Have a good one.